Can I get a soul clap? Clap twice. I'm that nice. Hey. Yeah, that song. Were you a cheerleader or something? I don't know. No, what that that's a song. From who? Can I get a soul clap? I don't know. I used to do that all the time when we had to sing for SourceFed, and I would sing that, and I was like, "Can anyone help me?" And we had to Google the lyrics to try and find the song. Shit, Julia, do you have to Google the lyrics of that one? Gwen Stefani. If I had to give you more, it's only oh. been a year. Yeah, yeah, I remember that song. I got my foot through the door, and I ain't going nowhere. It took a while to get me here. And I'm going to take, take my time. time. Don't yeah, okay, I remember that song. Yeah. In your ear. Yeah. Now let, let me blow, blow your mind. mind. Welcome to Powered by Geek Bomb. My name is Maud Garrett. I'm Boss Bond of Geek Bomb. And Powered, of course, is an acronym where we ask you guys what you're currently playing, watching, reading, and doing. But on this episode, it's all about Malik Forte here. Hey, buds. That's clever. What? The, the, the acronym? acronym? Yeah, I like that one. You know what? I'm not good at many things. That's a lie. I'm really, I'm really egotistical and narcissistic. But something, was that? some things I am good Sit at out loud, is a name. I can get a name. I should have, in another life, maybe I worked at an advertising agency. Because we're like, this is the concept. We need a name. I'm like, boom. Where no. are you from? Cincinnati, Ohio. Oh, yeah. hi. The dirty, oh. dirty depths of the streets. I don't know. Of the nasty natty. Ohio very well. I've never yeah. been there. Where is it on the map? Uh, it's like in the middle. It's the Midwest. Oh. Ah. Yeah, we're, we're actually like right on the like line of where the eastern and the central time zone splits off. Yeah. Get out. Yeah. How often do you go back home? Uh, you know, once or twice a year. Mm-hmm. Once or twice a year, but it's, you know, flying across the country all the time. Man. You when? Know? Plus traveling to all the events, it's just, there's just no time. When did you move to LA? Five years ago. Mm, four. Mm. Four? Mm. Yeah, I got your beat. Score. Oh, yeah. yeah all right. I'm, I'm, I'm editing this video, so there won't be a tally. <laughs> Maybe there will be a tally. Maybe there's going to be a tally. Is there a tally, mode? I'm actually communicating I feel like, with my future I feel self. Like, I feel like from the minute we met, it's been nothing but competition. You remember when we first hung out? It was, it was when we did the, uh, the, the gamer fights. And it was like <gasps> we walked. Right. We, I had you so beat in that. I cannot believe you. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yep. See? But come on, you won with eating bacon. <laughs> bacon simulator. Yes. Yeah. I mean, given the current political climate of our nation, yeah. would you say that my game was a little bit spot on, just a little bit? I think there was xenophobia happening there because I pitched an Australian <laughs> video game using the Australian characters from Overwatch, which I thought was a really cool uh, third person shooter game, which we had at explorative functions about the post-apocalyptic world that apparently Mad Max slash Australia in 200 years time is all about. No one cared. <laughs> Maybe that was too much detail. I actually thought your game was the best one. I was I was pretty surprised that they picked mine, but they did. So I won. <laughs> right. I'll be a winner. So sure. um, the assumption is that you guys know Malik. Obviously, he's huge into esports. He's a big gamer. You've caught him on Nerdist and ESPN on Bleacher Report. I'm nobody. What? I'm a nobody. I don't have nobodies on this couch. Nobody puts nobody on a couch. What? What? What are ah, you saying? But the show is we talk powered. So obviously being a gamer, you've got to be playing something. What are you currently or have been playing? Um, aside from playing Overwatch, competitive We Overwatch, bonded over that actually. Yeah, we bonded. I'm hella into D.Va. She's my girl. It's like they nerfed her to buff her. She's the one that they have not been able to figure out. She's either OP or she's not good enough. Uh, and she's going to fall out of the meta because of this update, unfortunately. So I'm sorry. Who do you play as again? Uh, I'm, I'm Reaper. Who's also not meta right now. No one's really playing Reaper. He doesn't. He's not as effective, so I'm kind of in the same. Who way. are the top three characters that you think people play as? Right now, Soldier yep. 76 is the top DPS player because he does the most damage. Yeah, which is and strange. he's got health. He's got yeah, healing he, capabilities. And he's got healing capabilities. Yeah. And he can sprint, so he's yeah. like movement wise is crazy. And I think that all the first person shooter kids, you know, who grew up on COD and grew up on Halo, they instantly can just grab him. He's the and easiest go. one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's the easiest one. Well, definitely. he was the tutorial one as well, mm-hmm. which is why when I decided to play as Mercy in my first game and I had no idea, I was like, she looks like me. That's how I pick characters. Yeah. It's me there. <laughs> so I played her and I was like, yeah. I'm like, how come I'm only. What am I doing to my teammates? I want to kill. I want to shoot. What's going on? <laughs> now I've got it down. No. And I love killing people as mercy because yeah. it is so It's insulting. gratifying because you're not oh. supposed to do it. Oh, I mean, you, they can be boom. You got killed by mercy. They'd be like, I can't tell anyone that happened. 76. Yep. Roadhog. Uh-huh. Because Roadhog, uh, his hook. He's OP, yeah. They're nerfing him though, so he won't be. Mm-hmm. Zarya would be up there. She's the other tank. And then Lucio because Lucio is just like, 
you know, he's the the centerpiece of healing. And he has mm-hmm. AOE heals, so it doesn't matter where you are, you're still getting some heals from him if you're close and by. The and the speed as well is so great. Yep. He's very, very versatile. Yep. Provides a, a speed advantage, for sure. I'm not great playing him. I really wanted to be good because he is such a great character. Mm-hmm. Too fast. Too fast, yeah. He's going to get even worse after this update because he's going to be able to skate backwards on the wall. Uh, See, that's too which, complex for me. I can't yeah. figure that out. I like to fly. I like to zoom. Mm-hmm. I've gotten. I've been pushed a few times. I've been bulldozed by um, uh, Reinhardt, pushed mm-hmm. off a ledge, and I'm like, <laughs> 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 which is always fun. Uh, but what other games are you playing? This is a game called Ark. I had to just like that's delete it. Cold Turkey deleted. It. It's too addictive. Ark is this game where you wake up on a beach, and uh, you realize that you're in this like you're on this island with these dinosaurs, and you just kind of have to go and survive. Is Ark a climate? Does it stand for a random climate or something? No, it's just I don't know why I call it Ark. I never really looked into the lore of the game. I just woke up on the island and like started building like little huts, and then eventually like joined a tribe, and. The tribe was like going over and like pillaging other tribes, and it was really fun to just kind of like go through and pillage other people's. It sounds like Age of Empires, but then you mentioned dinosaurs. Yeah, there's dinosaurs. Like you can actually tame them too, and like ride T Rexes and fly pterodactyls and stuff. It's pretty cool. I have a recurring dream where a velociraptor is chasing me. Could I get over my fear of a velociraptor? Yeah, you can straight Chris Pratt it and like. That was tame. the most bullshit part of the movie. It was. But you can do it in this game, though. You can tame a pack of raptors. Wow. And it's like right around. So hold on. Is it a turn based? No. What it's, is it? It's an MMO. Straight up open world MMO. They put you on an island. Who made the game? Uh, Wildcard. Wildcard Studios, I think they're called. Oh. Yeah. It's, it's actually been out on PC for a while. Then it went to Xbox last year. It came to PS4. I feel like. When PlayStation Xbox went more of a competitive gaming route and they stayed to being, you know, the best part of video games when it was out was to share it, yeah. local co-op, get together and play. And like, you know, that was how you would game instead of being isolated and only being a solo gamer in that experience. They, t- they tried to kind of hold on to that, but the technology was going so far that that wasn't an option anymore. I don't know. What do you think happened with it all? The uh, divide between I- the casual gamer and the... Programmer. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I feel like they Nintendo straight up just doesn't know. They don't know who like their market is. Yeah. They have no identity as far as like that because it was perceived that like previous Nintendo systems were kiddie. They were for kids. Yes. And so a lot of like the I guess core gamers or hardcore gamers that divide is just so strange. I don't know where it came from. Yeah, like Goldeneye, all those competitive games on the Nintendo 64. That where it was at and they were nailing that market yep. and then you had your mario kart so you had something for everyone and then all of a sudden you know tekken and all that kind of stuff came yeah. out yeah I, I think it, it, it might be a technology thing to be honest with you because Nint- i feel like you know with the playstation to the playstation 2 to the 3 to the now 4 they've made like crazy advancements from each system and i think the wii u was the first nintendo console to ever be in hd which it's like you guys really took that long to wow understand that hd is kind of a thing it's funny though when playstation and xbox try to do something for the casual gamer and it gets swatted away yep. it's like remember the move which was essentially the wii and it's you like mean that oh. intergalactic dildo with the crazy little yes. ball in it yes yeah, I yes that. i do there was one good game on that and i was like not worth it not worth getting just for i mean hey yeah right <laughs> Pretty much, this is exactly it's very big though exactly. isn't it this is no wii move well, wait, I've just combined two together. Wiimote. The Wiimote was just weird. It's like oh my God, <laughs> playing Mario weird. Party. Do you remember yeah. the, Party? It's the shaker can the shaker, one? Yeah. And everyone's there going. Yep, yep. And I would yep, win yep. against three of my guy friends. And I was like, what is happening? Exactly. I never lost game. that game. <laughs> never. By Too not much losing, practice. are you really winning? <laughs> Exactly. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we're playing. We were playing R. Blade and Soul. You need to check that game out because uh, you can make very big titties. Oh, all the that's characters. what you were trying to tell me. Yeah, I, I wanted to surprise you, but you know what? Fuck that. But you know what? Titties. Titties. <laughs> Hashtag. Titties. And ass. TNA. Oh, TNA. You can just like. You can even give them a big vagina too if you want. What? It's pretty crazy. How do you know? I tried the character customization. I don't. I don't play the game. I just went and customized the character. That was like the the selling point for it. Oh my god, yeah. that's what I really feel like I've been missing out as a gamer this whole time. I haven't been able to customize a vagina yet. PC gamer. Maybe that's why I'm at PC. Because mm, it ain't PC. <laughs> so moving on, watching. What movies have you been watching? What TV shows have you been binging? 
Uh, I've been binge watching Luke Cage because I feel like everybody watched it and I didn't. That's made me go back and watch all the Marvel shows because I, I I was really behind on all of them. Daredevil first, then yeah. Jessica Jones. Je- came Jessica out, Jones, yeah. Then Luke Cage, no. Luke Cage, yeah. And then Daredevil season two. Yeah, Daredevil season two. And then, and then Punisher's in there somewhere. Yeah, he Punisher's. Yeah, he's dope. Daredevil was actually my favorite out of all those. I, season I really one or season two. Season one, Daredevil, so good. Isn't it funny? The first one's always the strongest. Yeah. We weren't used to seeing um, a Marvel show for made for um, streaming that, and um, it was a lot darker than what we were used to because the Marvel movies are a little bit more fluffy. Yeah, in a way. fluffy. Does that make sure. sense? So we were like, wow, this is Cute, awesome. cuddly. It's got to be family friendly, you know? So. You gotta sell the merchandise. Mm-hmm. Sell them toys. But I that Luke Cage, oh, that's crazy. It's off the, it's off the chain. Like, why? It takes me, it takes me back to the old days of running the streets, like a young thug. How similar jumping is jumping over the fences? Cincinnati to Harlem. Nah, they're, 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 <laughs> I mean Cincinnati has its, its areas, but nah, I wasn't. There weren't like, there weren't many. There gangbangers in Cincinnati, and you know civil unrest and all that stuff. But I think the thing that makes Cincinnati the craziest is probably the racial tension is probably not like... It still exists. Oh, it's in Ohio? Yeah. See, oh, yeah. this is something that, for me, being an Australian, we have very, very different racism issues. Oh, okay. I'm not saying racism doesn't exist in Australia. It is rife there. Just yeah. YouTube, older women and men having massive rants to younger um, uh, people who are multi- multicultural. They don't really discriminate who they're going to pick on. Anyone not white. Yeah, Luke Cage has been great. I've been enjoying that. Uh, I've been enjoying catching up on all those Netflix shows. I've also been watching this show, uh, Insecure. It's a show on HBO, uh, Issa Rae, a young African-American comedian, film writer, mm-hmm. showrunner, all of that. And she also stars in the show. And it's really good. I have heard about it. Yes. Yeah, yes she, I think she got some globes for it. Some golden globes for it. And she wears a heart on her sleeve and she tells it like it is, right? Oh, yeah. She's got emotions. Uh-huh. She's got a lot to say. Yeah. And I think her show is good, not just for like, any like cultured person or any colored person or anything like that. I think it's good for women. It's a right. good show for women to watch. And like even for men to get kind of perspective on like, you know, the things that women go through. Yeah, that's the thing. And like, I'm also a big advocate of talking about it. We should never ignore it. Moving on and moving forward isn't to ignore something. Yeah. It's to accept it and embrace it and to normalize it in a way. Yeah. You know, where it's like, yes, we need to recognize that a lot more men have more screen time and get more money and there are a lot more white people in leading roles. Mm-hmm. Um, like, what was the first thing that I said about Overwatch? I picked Mercy because she looked like me. Yeah. It must be so hard for, you know, a lot of kids going... These heroes that I'm supposed to worship, they don't look like me. Right. How do I know that I yeah. could ever be in a position where they are? Right. If Yeah, anyway. Um, so, yeah, I, I do like it when it's normalized. And I think that Luke Cage does a great job of that. Yeah. Where it's like, hey, this is a very normal thing that's happening. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's, um, you know, dropping in bombs. Yeah. Like it, but that's what happens. And that's yeah. what it is. And it's normalizing it in a way and not making it... <laughs> I think that's important. And I feel like geek culture has got it. Like, you know, that's the thing. Geek culture is moving forward. You look at the, like, the amount of video games this year that came out with, like, protagonists that were women or people of color. So it was yes. crazy. It was a lot, you know? Overwatch did a great job. They had everyone from so many different nationalities, different races, different ages. Mercy's yeah. 38. What, what? Diva's very, very young. And usually, oh, I was realizing that if I was to be cast in something, I'm too young to be an older actor's wife. I'm too old to be an older actor's wife. Really? Um, oh, yeah, because they be going for like the, the 21, 22 year olds yeah. and stuff. Mm-hmm. And then it's a stretch I'd be the, if they I'd go I'd be the 16, ones. 7 year old's mother. Oh, shit. Even though I'm only 30. Yeah, that's Hollywood. Am I allowed to curse on here? I've been cursing like very freely. Oh, I no, I do. It's my channel. Fuck yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. I'll keep you forgetting. fucking kidding? Yeah. Get fuck. Fuck off. <laughs> Get fucked. Fuck you. So, uh, you've been watching Luke Cage. Any movies that you've been watching? Fantastic Bees. No, oh, Rogue One. Yes. Rogue One. Did you like it? It was alright. Okay. I feel like it, definitely overrated. Like people were just like, oh my! I, I didn't really feel any connection with any of the characters. Maybe Donnie Yen because he's Donnie Yen, but um, I don't know. It was just kind of like it was pretty. It was a beautiful movie. Yeah, it was but pretty. It, it was. Yeah. That was it. Mm-hmm. I didn't really like anything else about to it. To check out my thoughts on the movie, I've done my Rogue One review on the channel. Gave it an eight. You gave it an eight. Oh, I did. Liked it a lot more than you did. Uh, that's cool. Mm. I didn't. That's cool. You know, difference what? in opinion. Difference yeah. in opinion. We can you know? watch the same thing and have complete takeaway completely it's, different things. 
It's totally cool to like trash. Neither. Oh, I was going to say, neither of us are right or wrong. It's just a different opinion. But you're yeah, going to shit on my opinion. Different opinion. Some people like Gosh. trash. And their opinion of that trash is high. My opinion of the trash is I don't like it. Cause That's it's because trash. you're calling it trash. Yeah. Well, to me, trash is kind of low. Like, it's kind of, it stinks. It. You know, it doesn't really smell good. It's not the type of st- You throw it out of your house because it's garbage. And, I mean, if you like trash, it's I don't have to like it. I don't have to shit on it. Maybe that's why it's trash, because you're just taking a dump on it. That's why it smells. No. Your feces have come in contact. My feces <laughs> smell like amazing roses. Thank you very much. I know you like to thank I knew she was going to do it. shit don't stink, but... Why did I say roses? I should have said, like, daffodils or something You should have said else. anything else. Anything. It's like a song that I know. And you know what I do when I hear this song? I go, I know you like to she... think your shit that the... don't Dang. Is that the actual sign language? Or is that what no, you do in the club when the song comes that's on? That's what I do. No, you, in the car. <laughs> in the car. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Put your hands on the wheel, Mom. Uh, what are you doing? I know you like to. Oh, She's hard. like, I it's know tricky. you like to. Oh, shoot. Yeah. I'm <laughs> swerving off the road. And I became Caroline going in the gutter. Yeah, you are. You're Caroline. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but you're the one who doesn't think you should see. <laughs> By our powers combined, we just became a basic bitch. <laughs> this is too meta. Stop. Okay. I'm cool. Uh, the next one are reading. What you reading? Uh, Any comics I, or books? You can say no. Uh. I'm black. I don't read. No, actually. Uh, That's a huge generalization. It is. It is. It's so funny, too, because I have a pretty big bookshelf. But, uh, I'm currently reading uh, Shingeki no Kyunjin, or as what? you Americans may call it, Attack on Titan. I'm reading the manga. Uh, I know that the manga is a lot ahead of the show. Very far ahead. Yes. So you obviously know what's going to I'm happen. I'm current. Hey, that's cool. Yeah. I, I know everything. I know who's bad and who's good. No, for the spo- most part. no spoilers. I never have dabbled into manga, mm-hmm. but anime-wise, I grew up manga. on manga. manga. You said manga. Did I? Yeah. But I say anger as well, not anger. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's, it was just her accent. It, she knew it, she knew it was manga. So all you so weaves out there manga. who are going to judge her for calling it manga. No, I'm literally confessing yeah. that I've never read it. So obviously I can't I know, even I say it. <laughs> uh, I grew up on Dragon Ball, Dra- Dragon Ball Z. Hell yeah. Bowed out at GT. Um, no, I'm not mad at that. I love Cell Saga. I love Have that. you seen Super at all? Mm. It's pretty nice. Um, they blue hair Super Saiyans. Ooh, but I know the reason why I liked Goku and the Super Saiyans because they had brown hair and brown eyes. I was like, babe. And then they went blonde hair and blue eyes. I was like, best of both worlds. Mm-hmm. Ugh. Yeah. Um, what if you, Gohan what if you, was my favorite. What if you dated somebody who can just change their hair and their eyes? And that'd, be pretty cool. that'd be pretty cool. Yeah. I'd want to be able to do it though. Yeah. I've had pink hair. I've had green hair. Like I want to do that. But if I can not damage my hair... Every time I do it, it'd be amazing. What, what made you go back to blonde? I mean, it's because it's natural. I uh, think natural is best. Yeah, natural. This is kind of natural-ish, I guess. Um, it's too much maintenance. It's just mm. too hard. You get over it. And you're like, next. Uh, and Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon, nice. And Pokemon. Okay. So that was my jam. That's what I okay. grew up with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, anime-wise, I can go on for days. What got you into it? Anime? Yeah. Uh, what was my gateway? I mean, I, I had watched Dragon Ball Z and stuff, but I never wanted to explore anime. I think uh, the anime that kind of like made me appreciate the entire genre would be Samurai Champloo, which is an old school kind of fused hip hop and anime. Shampoo? Sham- no, Champloo. <laughs> well, we're gonna get on another I'm hair discussion. Prepared. Samurai <laughs> Shampoo. I mean, I guess it could be pronounced. Rinse and repeat. I mean. To be honest with you, the two main characters, they have great hair. incredible hair. I'm telling you. Very lush. One of them has a nice, like, afro, but doesn't necessarily look like an afro. It looks like just frizzy. It's, it's, it's amazing. Ah, the other one has long, luscious jet locks? black. No, not luscious locks, but it's oh. like jet black. Beautiful hair. Anyway. Got it. Samurai Ch- Shampoo was the, the anime that brought me in to anime, and then mm-hmm. I've been, like, watching ever since. Shout out to Nujabis. Uh, who produced the entire score. He's not live anymore. He died in a car oh. crash. Oh. Hopefully because he wasn't dancing like she was. She does when the roses comes on. But, uh, this is on tape now. What if I die from that? We're going to mm-hmm. replay this moment and it's going to be you predicted my death. I feel like if I did, if that happens, then there's going to be some type of like Final Destination type backlash yeah. where like I'm next. So <gasps> hopefully, let's just not continue this conversation. Good though. idea. <laughs> so you're reading some... M- Manga. 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 I've been reading a lot of manga. That's been the main thing for me. Uh, as far as books go, uh, I don't know. I don't, I, I, but I'm, I always read like self-help books all the time. Is that right? Yeah, just because. Just it's, it's always funny to, to see 
other perspectives of like how people go about achieving their dreams and their goals. And I feel like there are little oh. tidbits that you see that are consistent in all those books. Got it. And then there's this crazy outlandish shit that you're just like, shut the fuck up. Right, but you bought you bought that. So you can't tell them to shut up when you bought that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I can. I, I think if I pay my it. money, it's my right to tell them whatever the fuck <laughs> I want to tell them. That is the internet. Just there. <laughs> Except you didn't pay for shit. <laughs> Oh, you pay on what? Oh, Wi-Fi. You pay for your you pay yeah. For the actual. Yo, I pay for my internet service. I can say whatever the fuck I want to this YouTuber. Mm. Say stuff to mod in the comments. Be nice. Exercise they're your right usually... to be a YouTube commenter. Nah, they're usually pretty good. They're usually I know. Quite I... lovely. I love my bombers. Yeah. Um, doing is the last one. What you doing? What am I doing? Yeah. Uh, currently, I'm working on a a, a project with my friends. A secret it's a pro. Uh, no, nah, it's not a secret. Or else I wouldn't be talking about it, mod. No, but that's the, that's the thing that everyone loves to do. I'm working on a secret project. I had to do it for six months. I was working on a secret project. Oh, yeah? Didn't I think everybody's like, in, in LA, if, I feel like everyone's swimming in NDAs, non-disclosures. Like, everyone I got has a lot of secrets. shit for saying that I had an NDA. They're like, unless this is like a blockbuster movie, you don't have an NDA. And I'm like, well, the thing is, there's so many variables that go into a project mm. that until you are shooting and it is uploaded or it's actually out there, anything can happen or be changed. Mm -hmm. And in my instance, it was six months of negotiations and yeah. figuring it out. And then they were like, sorry, Maud, we're actually going to continue this project, but without you. Right. And I was like, whoo, good thing I didn't tell Talk anyone. About it. Yeah, <laughs> totally. I totally understand that. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. There's a lot of like stuff that happens behind, behind the, the scenes, scenes that people don't know about. Yeah. Just, I don't talk about shit that I'm working on that's, you know, that I don't know about. Yeah. But there are stuff that, there are things that I do know about. For instance, the thing I'm working on. Yes. Crew ham, which is uh, spelled C-R-E-W-H-A-M. It's basically. Crew ham. Yes. Yes. Our, our mascot is a pig. He's this guy. Fly. Fly. Oh, he fly. looks so cool. Fly kind of represents pigs that can't fly, but being fly. Kind of like the mantra, pigs can't fly. He's like superseding oh that gosh, by being amazing. a fly dressing pig. And it's kind of like a, a, we're a collective yeah. of content creators who just make video game based content and are very uh, infused in the hip hop culture. So that's so cool. That's pretty much it. And we're, we got a podcast. We got a. Uh, Where can uh, people check videos. it out? Uh, Crewham.com. Crewham.com. Yeah. Make Simple sure as that. that. Well, that was our Powered by Geek Bomb. Thank yeah. you so much for telling us what you're playing, watching, reading, and doing. Yeah, thank you for having me. Where can people find you? Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Malik4Play, crewham.com, uh, and you need to come to our podcast sometime. Done. I'll game in hip-hop. I'll hop some hip. Yeah, yeah. I mean... You... <laughs> I have hip problems, actually. So. Hop some hip? <laughs> oh, Ooh. <my> <laughs>